Good morning, Bistro fans. Jill here with um, our today's guest, which is Shelby from Pet Relief. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am at the home office today. Shelby is at the real office today. <laughs> it looks like you guys have some, is it snow on the ground behind you? Yes, it's usually like Colorado. It's it's there and then it melts the next day, but we've had some colder weather and I just moved into this new house in my backyard. I guess, I guess doesn't get a ton of snow. So I've had snow in my backyard for like the past month and a half. Ah. Which, you know, it's nice, but then it starts getting all gross and, you know, I'm ready yeah. for some fresh pow. <laughs> I'd imagine, um, like the Denver area snows similar to ours, yeah. uh, where my my best friend lives in Leadville in the mountains, and that snow is totally different. We've been stuck in snowstorms up in the mountains, and it's really fun, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the nice thing is too, it's dry snow, so you don't get like a ton of ice. Well, yes, we still get a little bit of ice. Yeah. Um, it's just you know, it's it's nice because it's so light. Like if you go and scrape off your car, you don't have to go through like any thick layers of ice where I'm from North Carolina and we don't get a ton of snow, right. <laughs> but we get tons of ice. Like our snow days were always just ice days. Like the buses couldn't get to the school. Sure. So it kind okay. of inspired me to, you know, talk about CBD through the winter and how it can help your pet because yeah. we've had some issues here recently with my dog. Um, okay. Yeah. So as I mentioned, my backyard Again, a newer house, and it feels like almost as soon as we moved in, it started snowing, and we were getting winter weather. And there's a bunch of stuff still behind the shed. The people who we bought it from just left a bunch of stuff for us to use for the yard, which at, at first was really nice, but now we're like, what do we do with all this junk? <laughs> so, um, it, we noticed that one day I just got done cleaning my floors and my boyfriend, he was like, are you, are you bleeding? And I was like, no. And then I just, Opal walked in my dog and she's just walking around and I just see bloody paw prints. And I was like, oh, you know, we'll just put some can of care on it. It'll be fine. And then it just started gushing blood. Oh, no. Clean floors, too. But, you know, we dropped the cleaning and had to rush her to the emergency room. And I think what happened is she was getting a little bit curious and was exploring back behind our shed and mm -hmm. cut herself on, you know, some frozen gardening tool or maybe even just ice. She's got mm -hmm. some kind of... Um, terrier in her so I would probably pit bull terrier but she loves 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 to dig which we hate of course <laughs> I think that's what ended up happening and she cut herself mm -hmm. right in between her paw pads um, yeah. deep in there so I couldn't really see it she ended up having to get two stitches and had to wear a cast and a bag oh, right. <laughs> you have to go outside so you know it wouldn't get wet so I was yeah. like um, thank goodness. That's, that's an issue here too is dogs um going out in the backyard and like when it's icy out or then or like a really wet snow and then the snow freezes and then you have footprints in the yard and they're navigating in and out the door and it gets icy so that that definitely we deal with that here in Michigan too absolutely so I just figured you know this was the best topic of conversation for yeah. snowbirds of course, <laughs> of course so um if anyone's joining us just say hello let us know you're here and then of course if you have any questions as we go along please post your comments or your questions um and then Shelby and I will swing around at the end and make sure that we go through any questions and get those answered so today we decided to talk a little bit how CBD can help your pets get through the winter months. I know some animals, excuse me, especially this time, like yesterday we had some rain before the snow started. So we already had a really damp environment, which exacerbates arthritis and pain and inflammation. So that can sometimes be really challenging for, for our pets this time. So I'm glad, I'm glad you're able to talk about how CBD can help us. Yes, and I've got a couple of items that we can go through too. So Fantastic. why don't we start with dry skin? Yes. So, so common. 
Yes. Well, and especially out here, gosh, I, I always feel it as soon as I step off the plane from being out on the East Coast back here. It's like, oh, my eyes are dry. My skin are, my skin's dry. You know, I feel it in my nose even. Yeah. And so um, it's definitely a really dry climate out here. So we see even one of our co-founders, he has a Weimaraner and she just like struggles with dry skin really all year round. But especially when it starts getting cold, it starts getting a little bit more aggravated. And so um, dry skin's you know, something that you can absolutely use for that is our oils. So our oils, especially if you have a really furry dog, I find that this is a little bit easier to target that without having to grease them up with our topical. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, our regular hemp oils, they contain two simple ingredients, organic CBD oil and organic coconut oil. And so coconut oil being a really fatty type oil is good to help kind of like beefing up the skin and help um, with a better coat and kind of keeping that soft instead of, you know, brittle during this time of year. So it's really helpful in helping, you know, kind of soften up their coat. And so I've noticed, especially with Opal here recently, she would be scratching a lot more than she typically does. And so um, on top of her little wound that she's been having with her cut paw, I amped up, you know, traditionally she gets about like seven milligrams is what it calls for her size for any given day. And that helps us keep general maintenance throughout the entire year. But whenever I notice any type of ailment kind of scale up a little bit, that's when I kind of boost that and give her a little bit more oil or one of our capsules even. So if your pet, if you're like, mm, I don't really foresee that going well, putting a dropper in their mouth and then <laughs> coming back for more. The capsules are a little bit easier uh, form of administration too. So same two ingredients, just in a vegan capsule and it's 15 milligrams. So by having that kind of extra boost of those oils within this capsule, whenever I give it to her, maybe throw on a little bit more peanut butter as well, um, just to get her to take it this girl hates a capsule going down her throat you know it's like one of those things I'll think she swallowed it and five minutes later I put it on the floor but I've noticed that even our executive um chef Justin who you all have met before on our previous ingredient uh webinar he was like well, she's so soft did you change anything and I'm like well we amped up her raw diet we've had her on constant oil and it's like he was like she just get a bath and I'm guilty she doesn't get enough baths but this stuff definitely helps keep her soft now in addition to that too um if you're like capsule won't work oil on its own won't work then we also have our liposomes so our liposomes are um, one that you can put on its food and it's mixed with a wild alaskan red pollock oil too so for those who maybe can't have coconut oil don't like coconut oil the a wild alaskan red pollock oil is a, just an alternative form of palatability and again another great fat to help boost the quality of their coat so um for our shorter hair dogs, you know, we definitely have our can of care topical. Um, Opal, she's got a little bit of that longer short hair, if that makes sense. And she, um, you know, while this does somewhat make her for a little bit greasy, it definitely helps with some of those itchy um, spots for her, uh, especially like on her belly where the fur is not as present and so the reason that this works so well is because it's got ecoba butter in it which is great for moisturizer and healing ecoba butter is actually um or originates from the amazon forest and you know or i said amazon jungle i should say um and so actually back in you know the times where people would go out with machetes if they would ever get cut um, they would use uh, ecoba butter and that is something that they can just lather onto their skin and it would help moisturize so you wouldn't have like that scab that then turns into a scar and then it helps heal it a little bit faster too so this stuff is amazing and then of course it's got wintergreen and eucalyptus oil in it too 
So it kind of helps bring down that pain that they might have from itching in the same spot over and over and over again. And let's say that you've got a pet that's got such dry skin or a lot of anxiety to a point where they're just scratching themselves or rubbing themselves raw and kind of balding in that certain area. This stuff also has grapeseed oil in it, which helps clear out the cell wall of the hair follicle. So it helps a lot of people grow hair again in certain areas. So we've helped um, certain animals that have had MRSA. One dog had mange. One dog had been covered in tar. And by using this, um, they're starting to see those dogs who were balding in certain areas because of that skin ailment now grow hair again, which is really awesome. So um, I even talked to a guy the other day who he's been using this stuff for his dog with alopecia that's also missing hair. So, um, you know, great for so many different things. But again, if your pet is experiencing some dry skin during the holidays or during the winter months, um, try this out. It's really amazing. To be honest, I'm guilty of using it more than my own dog. But I love it. <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> yes, same. And the one thing that I love about the pet relief products is we, you know, sometimes we always ask clarifying questions when, when customers come in and they're looking for a CBD product for their pet is like, how, what is the best way to administer it? Because I don't want, I want to make sure that you can, as a customer and a dog owner or cat owner, still be able to get this into your pet consistently without the stress and the fight and the hiding. Right. <laughs> oh, God, you hide under the bed, just like human kids. <laughs> um, but how do you make it? So I love the fact that we have lots of different delivery methods. Yes. That we can, we can make it something that's, that's enjoyable for everybody in the house, that it's not, that it's not a big stressful event. So a little tip and trick, especially if you've already got the can of care and you're looking to apply this, um, but maybe if you don't want them laying on furniture, if you allow your pets to do that, I'm guilty. Um, or, you know, just licking at it. It is 100% plant-based, so if they lick it, it's not a big deal. But for me, I want it to be on there and do the best that it can do if I'm, you know, taking my time. Mm -hmm put it on or administer it. So a great little tip and trick that I actually found this out from one of our grooming partners is she keeps this in her back bar. Sorry, I'm an awful Vanna White. Um, <laughs> and she would rub a little bit on the inner flap of her, of those dog's ears. So whenever they would come in and maybe they were really, really anxious before getting up on the table, you know, she would finish up a dog and before she would do that, she would put this in the ear. So by the time that it was the next dog's turn, the anxious dog, um, it would be able to enter into those blood vessels and start calming them that way. So I always do that with Opal. I mean, even still, we've been here for about an hour and 15 minutes, and I'm pretty sure she's already gotten like four edibytes. So a lot of the time we're still like, you know, if I want to give her some when we get home at night and she's already kind of reached beyond her caloric intake, that's when I use this stuff to help calm her and keeping her in her ear. Um, and then I'll wait for about 15 minutes and then I will go and apply it in the spot and she's on she's like she doesn't even she's not bothered by any of it so um, I can't say enough great things about this I love this stuff and the reason that it works so well is because it's got a component in it from the hemp crop as well called Neuralidol and Neuralidol is a terpene that comes from the hemp crop but in this case it has dual purpose and it actually acts as a really awesome skin penetrator to kind of suck down all of those oils along with the CBD down into those thicker epidermis layers. And of course CBD is a natural anti-inflammatory so a lot of that inflammation that is causing that pet to itch, you know, from dry skin, from, you know, allergies as well. That's where this stuff really um, becomes helpful and kind of helping soothe that, reduce the inflammation and do a lot of amazing things as well. So. Right. So Canacare does come in a small jar and a large jar. And I know we have um, some folks watching and many of our um, super fans have been joining us for our 12 days of deals. We have six days of giveaways um, at the end of the year. So December 26th through December 31st where we give away a gift card and we're also going to be giving away a large jar of can of care every night. 
Yes, which I hate to be the one to break this news to you, but we're actually discontinuing the four outs. What? I know, I know. Reason being, I was really upset about it too. But even if you're the biggest fan of Hanacare, I tell you, it takes forever to go. It does. So, I mean, I still have like one ounce jars that I opened, you know, almost six months ago that are only halfway through. So, stock up on them while you can. I hope you win the four ounce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, perfect. So, yes, I love the, again, I just love the fact that we have a lot of different ways to get, um, I mean, my cats, we do the liposomes with the cats. It's so easy. You just mix it in with their food and, they could my cats could care less i know it's a little sometimes a little harder with other cats but yeah, yeah it, lucky ones jill i know but it but it it is really helpful to have the different options so. yeah absolutely good all right so that's for dry skin and then that kind of leads to our next topic here as well as allergies and thankfully i find that most allergies kind of have a reprieve during the winter months um, but we do have some dogs that that have some discomfort year round, mm -hmm. whether that is environmental based or, you know, some dogs have allergens to things within the home, dust mites and stuff that we just can't get away from. Yep. Um, or external environmental, uh, aller you know, environmental allergens that are really difficult. You know, it's not always a food allergen that causes problems. So why don't you touch a little bit on that, how CBD and pet relief can help for allergies. Absolutely. So one thing that I can say is I'm actually very allergic to real Christmas trees, which is kind of a depressing thing for me because I love the smell of them. And I just think it's always nice to have something live in your house instead of something fake. But instead, I have to use like the Febreze <laughs> Christmas tree scent. Um, but I actually talked to a customer the other day who she was swearing up and down that the correlation of her pet's allergies during this time she swore it had everything to do with her christmas tree and so um you know again cbd is great for so many different things and let's remember how it works so within our bodies again any being with a spine has an endocannabinoid system and that's basically how our bodies better communicate with all of our functioning systems so i think most people when they think of cbd they think of anxiety and arthritis but you know it's so great in helping boost the immune system and support and um you know the immune system response. And so, um, you know, it's great to give to kind of help open that pathway because again, without CBD, if we're experiencing an ailment, if I do have allergies or my dog has allergies, basically the endocannabinoid system is firing off on a one-way street to that system, the immune system, which is then telling the body to react in sneezing, coughing, itching. And so by allowing that two-way street to open by activating a full spectrum CBD, the immune system can then speak back up to um, the endocannabinoid system, kind of block some of that messaging and again, just balance and stabilize that. So it's a great boost for the immune system. I know personally for me, and I know this is about pets, but again, everything's beyond human grade and I wouldn't be doing us justice if I didn't share my own testimonials, but you know, I am prone to sinus infections. And so I take the capsules every day myself and I've noticed that, you know, this time of year, especially, I would absolutely be feeling that. And so now that I take my capsules every day, you know, We've only had a couple of sick days out of three and a half years that I've worked here. So it's really nice um, to kind of boost my immune system. I notice that when I give the oil um, to Opal, you know, there's a good chance that maybe she could have had some allergies, but she's had it basically in her system since I rescued her. And we have been able to push off any kind of allergy or ailment. Um, and it's helped keep her in, you know, just maintaining her general health which you know i for one am super happy about that because i find the more and more that i have to go to a vet you know especially with her paw gosh she's spoiled <laughs> i've spent a lot of money on this dog this year but i know that i can um you know use these products to help keep her comfortable during those issues and also um, it's going to do a lot more for her in the long run by keeping these 
you know, neuroprotectants in her system, the, um, you know, boost for her immune system and a natural anti-inflammatory. So again, all of these things are great for helping allergies as well too. So um, again, you can, if you're seeing those external rashes and allergies, the topical is amazing, but especially for those who are experiencing allergies year round too, um, I always say go for the regular hemp oils because they're two simple ingredients. So you're eliminating a lot of things um, and kind of just able to get to that ailment without causing more issues. You know, when people who have allergies go for maybe our edibites, I'm like, well, that's a lot of natural and organic great, um, you know, ingredients, but I would just hate for something else to maybe set off that allergy. And, you know, so that's really why I always recommend the oils. Perfect. Yes. Good. Now going into joint discomfort. So again, especially when it gets cold, like humans, you know, our pets can start moving a little bit stiffer, um, you know, especially when you have stretched out those joints. I love seeing Opal do her little downward dog in the morning and just kind of shake out of it because her <laughs> yeah. Um, but then she goes outside and it's like just moving around a little bit more stiff and um, you know her joints due to that um, you know the cold weather it can make them react and tighten up and so a lot of pets can kind of get into lower mobility or even just you know um, stiffness during these cold winters and so that's really where all of these products are really great for that because again with it being um, helping with inflammatory response and just giving those uh, signals to the muscular system it helps kind of ease into that and you know we've seen a lot and heard a lot of our customers coming back to us saying that you know they've got a little bit more pep in their step they just feel a little bit more loose and spry so you know that's definitely helpful now again if you have short haired dogs um, that's where the can of care comes back into play excuse me right here and this is um you know great to give them a little puppy massage because of those terpenes again it helps get into those thicker epidermis layers now i know reed um some of you may or may not know him he's kind of my counterpart here and um actually your representative jill and so he has two huskies and huskies of course husky mixes i should say but they definitely have the energy of you know, a full bred Husky and that doesn't really do us a lot of service, especially when they've had, you know, torn ACLs. So um, I remember one day Opal was here and he was playing, she was playing with Reed's dog Nala and is she like tore it again or something. It just, it, she was in a lot of pain. And so we instantly gave her a few capsules and also a bunch of can of care. We just really soaked her leg in it. And while she was definitely going to need a bath later, you could definitely see that it was helping kind of remove some of that pain and kind of get some of those pain management signals working and activated. So again, you know, lots of different things. CBD in general is going to, all, if it can get to the bloodstream, which again, with these terpenes, that's what helps it get into those, the bloodstream. Um, but even if you're ingesting it, again, a lot of that can do so much. And so that's really why we've got something um, for everybody. You know, all of our products have our full spectrum CBD and other, you know, essential ingredients that really do help target other ailments too. Too, but um, you know CBD in general is going to be able to help do with those things and so it's really based off of your pet's preference of how they prefer to receive that um, supplement and you know if they are using it within the chews you know what flavor they like so we've got something for everybody so um, you know I would love to be part of your raffle and get some free stuff <laughs> remind me again why you guys um, suggest not using the can of care on cats 
Great. I'm so glad you brought that up. So again, we use wintergreen and eucalyptus oil in there for pain relief. However, the, on certain levels of wintergreen and eucalyptus, it can be potentially toxic to cats. So it's not a high level of wintergreen and eucalyptus, but at the same time, you know, we just to err on the safe side of caution, that's when I recommend not using the can of care. But that's when I would definitely, you know, we still have an option to get some CBD in the system by using you know, either the liposomes, traditionally what I recommend, or the regular hemp oils. Good. Um, and then I just to uh, add into the whole joint discomfort as well, um, you know, we do offer chiropractic services at our store. So advanced animal chiropractic, Dr. Christina and Dr. Grant are at a store. So that is always a great combination along with the pet relief. Um, you know, if there are more, you know, if there's a diagnosis or if there's more issues happening. So this is the time of year where arthritic dogs get really stiff and they have a hard time um, pulling themselves up and standing, getting going even like you'll notice that, you know, the wet damp weather sometimes they stand up and then it's stiff at the go <laughs> um that's kind of a classic arthritis symptom yeah uh, but chiropractic care in combination with using some pet relief and the that powerful anti-inflammatory that it provides can be so helpful so um that's always another service that people can check out at the pet I store love that. that you guys offer that i have actually never been to a chiropractor I know, but Opal goes all of the time and yeah. it's definitely helped. I mean, I just love what chiropractic work can do in general and just mm -hmm. kind of it's great for the immune system, just getting those messages going up the spinal cord. And also, um, you know, I know for Opal, we really struggled with incontinence with a rescue that I got her from. I mean, she was spayed three days before I got her. She wasn't even three months. Right. So that's why we've dealt with a lot of issues with her bladder functionality and chiropractic work definitely helped a lot with that. So, I mean, it's amazing. She, again, she's more spoiled than me, but uh, I, do it for the baby. I do it for the baby. We always do. And then the other thing I wanted to touch on, too, is kind of like um, I know we've kind of gone over anxiety, but we have, you know, this holiday, I think, is a little different because most people are staying close to home, people aren't really traveling, um, but they might be having, a, you know, one other household over for gathering and, you know, what, what's kind of the best way to administer uh, either the edibites or the oils pre-gathering? Because some dogs get really anxious when family members come over or there's a certain, certain energy of a family member that just kind of sets off the, the tone of the group of animals in your home. Yes. So um, and then and then that kind of leads us into New Year's that I don't know how it is out in Denver, but fireworks are horrible here in Michigan. There's I don't know if they'll be that bad this year at New Year's, but everyone is, is pretty much, I think, staying low and sticking close to home. So that adds another level of anxiety also for the humans because they know that their pet their pets are are gonna be fearful or anxious and you know, it's holiday time. Well, and I think that's something that people definitely forget is that our stress is not lost on our pets and our pets, you know, they're our companions. They're here to help, you know, comfort us. And, you know, when I'm upset, like Opal obviously knows and, mm -hmm. you know, I think the holidays, you know, preparing for company or, you know, safely traveling if you have to travel this year, um, you know, it's stressful. It definitely is. And then, you know, on top of that, throw in, you know, the year that we've had, which has definitely been a bizarre one, to say the least. And so, you know, I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, stressing because they can't be with family or stressing because they have to go see their family and they don't want to, you know, infect them or, you know, bring any asymptomatic um, symptoms over. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's really where we have to remember to kind of gauge that off of our pets as well. And I have a supplement for them with that being said. And so, you know, timing is always the biggest thing with anxiety, you know. Um, now, one thing I do want to also mention is that we have recommended amounts on the back of the box, but this is not a prescribed dose by any means. So, you know, 
we work with a lot of different animals of all different sizes. I mean, even on our oils, you'll see, you know, between 26 and 50 pounds. I mean, that's a big range of weight, but at the same time, you know, we're dealing with lots of different ailments and then different levels of ailments. Like Opal's a pretty chill dog. And unless I'm going to get her nails trimmed or to the group, like she hates getting baths, hates getting them. And so, you know, timing with that is huge. And so, um, you know, about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. So if you're going somewhere or if you've got company coming over, I say give it an hour before you even get in the car or an hour before that company comes over. So it can, you know, metabolize into their system and really start locking it into place so it can turn that one-way street into the two-way street so it can get that messaging going so they're already stabilized and calm before they come over because if you try and give it to them right when company is coming over or you know whatever other situation that your pet might get anxious for then I say it all the time it's like trying to fix a leaky pipe while the water is already on all of the way so you know that's really where um, you know people if they're not seeing results right away it's not something that you need to keep in their system constantly to work. It's really kind of finding what I like to refer to as the magic milligram, you know, because again, lots of different ailments, different levels of ailments, different size animals, and then throw in metabolism. So, you know, what we see is not every pet is going to see results off of that range because maybe what they're going through and with their metabolism they might just need a little bit more to target their specific needs. So if you need to go above and beyond the recommended amount. That's totally fine. Um, I always just say though, if you're going, if this is your first time giving CBD oil, um, you know, give it, start maybe with it this weekend and kind of let it build a little bit. So we always start low because it might mean that your pet doesn't even need the full amount. So stretch it out where you can, right? But also, um, you know, it's an oil-based product. So really the only negative side effects that we do see from time to time is maybe some nausea or maybe, you know, diarrhea or loosened stool. I was there with my dog, Opal. She's got a very sensitive stomach, and that was not fun for either of us. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I've – realized I heavy hit it right away and it had nothing to do with it being CBD oil, but it had everything to do with it being oils. And so that's why it's always really important to always go based off of your size pet and what's on the top of the box. Because I get it. Small dogs, I realize they've got that lower price point that's attractive to everybody. We totally understand that. However, we do 100% guarantee our products. So if you've really tried, you know, upping the amount over time or it's really just making your dog sick, we do 100% guarantee our products. But, you know, I really urge you to go based off of the actual size of your pet instead of just starting with something lower because, you know, our small breed oil they're the same two ingredients. So it's five full droppers versus the one of the large breed. So, you know, I don't care who you are, who like, if you get five full droppers of oil, even a human, their, their stomach would probably get sick. They would probably, um, you know, vomit maybe, <laughs> you know, I realized we actually, um, somebody that we knew, knew a person that had been positive and so of COVID. And so my boyfriend and I, we've been really trying to stay on top of taking our CBD, taking, um, like D3 and zinc. And I remember one day probably heavy hit it with my boyfriend and five minutes after he took all of his vitamins, he had to go into the bathroom and just, it all came back up. But um, I was like, we'll space it out next time. <laughs> definitely need to go take these, but administrating properly is definitely um, a huge key to success in seeing those results as well. Right. So, um, and, and any of our staff members can definitely help you guys too. So most of the time um, when customers come in, we typically have, a few more questions, clarifying questions to ask to really kind of understand the situation and what is happening and then give better suggestions based on that. So absolutely. I, I totally agree with you. If we have a bunch of stuff happening from Christmas to New Year's, start this weekend and be consistent with it. So when Christmas comes around, you could do that third dose. You could do that extra at a bite, but still have something in the system to help get them through that that stretch of anxiety and 
exactly. holiday festivities and whatever else is, yes. is happening. So, yeah. One thing I also uh, forgot to even tell you about too, Jill, is that this is great for paw care as well. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Especially with salt on the streets or on the sidewalks, um, as well as, um, you know, again, ice mm -hmm. and snow. Maybe it's really, really cold, cold temperatures and their paws are sore after they've been outside. This actually just happened with one of my best friends. Uh, her dog was out in Breckenridge and they went snowshoeing and took the dog with them. And then eventually they actually had to bring the dog. They had to carry him back down because his paws were so sore because they didn't realize how cold the snow was. So luckily they had some of this with them and, you know, it's great for kind of helping again, soothe and relieve a lot of that pain and kind of rebuild any kind of damage that might have been done that day. So again, my best bet, especially with the paws, because if they're going to be potentially walking around, I always want to calm her first so she's really relaxed when I give it to her, not planning on going anywhere. So then when I put it on her paws, it can really do its work without, you know, her walking around and it potentially coming off again on the floors. So that's really what I recommend. And then dry noses as well when it gets really, really cold outside. You know, they get chapped noses. That's where this also becomes a really great option as well. Gosh, I'm so bad at this. You <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> Good. So, yeah. No, all great reasons to use um, use pet relief and some of the, the ways to use it, too. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So um, we did write a little blog on this as well. So we'll be sure to share that link on Pet Facebook page. So you guys, if you missed it or don't have time to watch through the whole video, um, you can kind of just read about it here and all that good stuff. Great, great. So it doesn't look like we had any questions today. We just had a couple of folks joining us saying hello, that they were here with us. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Lisa. Glad you guys were able to join us. Um, and then also, if anybody has any further questions and you're catching this on replay, put it in the comments below. One of my team members or myself will get, get some um, we'll get some answers for you. And if we don't know the answers, we'll reach out to Shelby. She's always great to respond and Get us the information that we need for any questions. If you guys have any suggestions, we'll be back in January doing another monthly chat. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions about topics or things that you would like us to talk about, put it in the comments as well. We'll make sure that we circle around and uh, see what those suggestions are. Of course, you guys can always order on our website. So I'm just going to add this here real quick. So we, I have our website up. We have... Um, quite a few of the pet relief products in stock and ready to go. So anytime we have the treats, we have the oils, we have the can of care, we have the capsules. Capsules do come in um, a smaller container as well. So if you're not sure or you want to try, a, you know, a smaller amount, that's definitely an option. We have those in stock. Stocking um, peppers too. Oh yeah, good stocking yeah. pepper. That, the one it. ounce and the trial size. I'll do really well in stockings. My family. Yeah. yeah so if you have a pup at home that needs, that needs some CBD just for a couple days, that's a good stocking stuffer. Um, so you can go to our website. If you are not local, uh, we do ship third party USPS and FedEx. So you are welcome to uh, place your order online and we'll make sure it gets shipped out to you. If you are local, you can also order it and have it for uh, same day delivery or local delivery. We are still, of course, having curbside pickup, but our store is also open for in-store shopping. So you're welcome to come in and ask questions, whatever um, most of whatever we can answer for you. Most of our staff has used CBD products uh, in at some level, um, whether it's been for themselves or <laughs> for their cats or for their dogs. So we've all had quite a bit of experience with the different pet relief products. So yeah, good. And of course, if anyone has questions, you're always welcome to call us too. There's our phone number there, 248-548-3448. So fantastic. Anything you think we missed today, Shelby? Oh, you know, <laughs> I think we covered it. But um, I appreciate you having us on to kind of go over, um, you know, items that we can use during this season. And, um, you know, I hope you guys all stay warm and stay merry. And yeah, it's super cold here in Michigan. <laughs> 
Yes, I can only imagine. Um, as soon as we hang up, I'm about to turn on my space heater. <laughs> 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 well, awesome. Well, I hope you have a safe and wonderful holiday. And of course, we'll be back in January for another uh, another monthly chat and we'll come up with some new topics for the new year. Yes, 2021. We're ready for you. I know, right? <laughs> Goodbye, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Shelby. Have a great day. Thanks, Jill. Take care. You're welcome. Bye.